And this is part two of Spike Box 3. So I stopped because it was 15 minutes, yeah, and it was getting a little too long. So this is so I made a part one, and I'm going to make a part two, make part three, stuff like that. Next, you're going to go into this bowling pan and back to the bowling area. But before, let's go out here because there's nothing else to do in here. Hmm. And now, a car should launch there. must have fixed the Trans Google gear. Now I'll be able to travel across the globe spy style. Yeah, so we're gonna, we have My to travel. My watch is beeping. Monkey Penny must have some important information for me. Let's just see what this is. What's the latest news, Monkey Penny? We've placed Agent Roger Bohr inside Poodle's Cosmetics Factory. Guys, my camera fell. Really sorry about that. That is a darling red wing. Thanks, Monkey Penny. I'll keep an eye out for it. Keep us posted, Spy Fox. Monkey Penny out. So now we're going to go into this car. And then the... Wait. Wait, not yet, not yet. This spy. We need to go out because we need some gadgets so we can go on a trip. Our trip. So we're going to go back into this bowling alley right here. I'm just going to move the camera back. Wait, what? Oh, my game's just crashed for a second. So now we're going to go into... We're going to click the bowling ball right here. And then we're going to go back to um, headquarters, which is called the Mobile Command Center. Now, well, I forgot to tell you this, guys, but sometimes, if you, like, sometimes um, the game can be a little different. Like, if you play it once and you play it a second time, the game could just be a little different. On, like, Spy Fox 3, it could be a little different. I start it over, so yeah. I'm, I was just warning. So we if so because of the car we're gonna get we gonna click this. Keep clicking. And we're, and we're gonna get this. It's called the grandma. Grandma. Huh. Okay. So we're gonna insert this out. The grappling granny. And now, let's just start one gadget at a time. Actually, let's get more than one gadget so we can, like, so, like, if we need to go to a different place, we'll have the gadget so, and we don't have to go back. I think next we're going to need this, too. So, cl click the glass. The, the, the glass. Here. Right there. That sounds interesting. I'm just going to skip this part. Okay, now, that's probably all we need right now. We can come back whenever we want. So right now we're going to go back into the bowling pin, and we're going to go back to the bowling alley, and then we're going to go back into like that car you just saw. So right over here. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. We're going to go in here. Now we're going to go... First, let's just go here, because this is what we need one of our gadgets for this place. Then you're going to click this button. Like there should be an arrow right there. Uh, I'll zoom the camera in so you can see it. Yeah, see, see, did you just see that arrow? Click that. And then you're going to move towards the, this ah, place. the jungle. Hey! Ancient and complex ecosystem. Hey, those were the shoes that the, um, in the bowling alley that she's, that, um, that dog said she lost. So we have to find out a, a way to get those shoes back to the bowling alley. Home to more than half of the world's plant and animal species. And it's really hot here, too. That's a fun fact. So now we need our grappling grandma, because if we try going across, this will happen. That quicksand is nasty. I'm sure a super sleuth like myself will figure out a high-flying way to get across, though. So now we're going to get this the grappling grandma, and we're going to point it right towards the tree. And it's going right, to swing. Granny, do your stuff. She's going to pull her teeth, and they're going to swing off. Yeah, we did it. 
But is there some way we can get I these shoes? I wonder if those bowling shoes came from the bowling alley in town. Yep. One way to find out. Oh. We cannot get it. Maybe we need to grappling grandma. Nope. Oh yes, we did it. My guess is whoever was wearing these doesn't need them anymore. They're not my size, but I'll hang on to them anyway. So now let's go back. We got So now let's... that branch looks like it's made of night. Okay, yeah, okay. Is hanging right over the top of that quicksand. It's okay. a very now, now let's just go over here. Let's climb up the ladder. Sorry about all the talking that Spoy Fox does. He's kind of annoying. Like he like talks a lot, and we're not gonna just tell you the information. But if you're not doing a, if you're not watching this video, or if you're not doing a walkthrough, if you don't want to watch it anymore, or if you're not, if you just want to figure out by yourself, then you should look listen to when Spy Fox talks. So you see these patterns right over here. Memorize them. So I'm gonna write down. On a piece of paper right now. Let me just find a piece of paper. Okay, I found a piece of paper. Now you see those? See those patterns? Copy those down. So this is pro this. So your patterns, your patterns will probably be different. On on like it might be different. And it might not be a snail. It might be different. So copy your patterns on to a piece of paper so you don't forget them. So I'm, the first thing I'm gonna put for mine is I'm gonna put a snail, snail, and then I'm gonna put coffee cup. Well, just I'm just gonna put a cup, and then I'm gonna put that looks like a piece of meat for some reason I don't know why. That looks like a car right there. That's a car, I think. And then the other one is a milk container, a, a milk carton. I'll just write that. Okay, now let's go down because I copied all these down. So, writing down actually helps you memorize them because there's like a pattern that you need to memorize to open a door that's over here. So now I'll click right over there. Like click, yeah, right there. And then, so let, let, let's find some inter information from her. Hello, my name's Fox. Spock Box. I'm Trudy Fruit. I'm here studying Chickle for my PhD in Gamatology. She's a nerd. But some pink clad pranksters locked all of the Chickle inside Chickle Pichu. Such a nerd. There must be some way to get in. The only way in is to set the hieroglyph code correctly. And use the ancient amulet of Chickle So... With this... So now we need a sn we found a snail. So we're gonna click this. I need this. to figure out this hieroglyphic code to get into Chickle Pichu. So we're gonna click, I'm gonna click the snail. And then I'm gonna click a cup right over here. Sorry guys, but you can't really see. And then I'm gonna click meat, that meat, which looks, uh, I actually, now it looks like a baseball, kind of. And now I'm gonna be I'm gonna click a car which is right here and then I'm gonna click the milk carton which is right over here yes we got him guys I the code. now I need to use the ancient amulet of chickle Pichu on the keyhole so then now I can get in there and get that chickle. So I'm going to speed this part up just a little bit, guys. So right now, I'm going to speed it up. So, but first, before I speed it up, you're going to go into the car. Wait. Let me just get over here. We're going to go into this car. And then we're going to go here. So I'm going to, I'm going to speed it up right now. The lake. There's a big mining platform in the middle of it. So guys, we're back and it's not in slow-mo. So the 
the, this is, she looks really creepy because we're like in a creepy house. Can I help you? Hey, Her voice is pretty weird too. Just look. Okay, so now we're gonna tell her you're gonna get the cheese out of your pocket and you're wait what? Where'd my cheese go? That's oh yeah. Where I keep my spot. So now we're gonna ask her about this cheese. I'm looking for the ancient amulet of Chico Pichu. You don't happen to have it here, do you? Oh, she does. I'm sure that's some kind of code phrase. I'm going to need the response code to get that amulet. So I'm going to speed it up right here again. Wait, pause. Sorry, guys. You see this? Um, well, the other version is you might have, there might be a boat with someone on the boat if it doesn't have this. Because that usually pops up. And, and if it does, then you should watch another video of how to do that part. But today we're just gonna be doing this part. So, yeah. Because your, your spy fox- My spy watch is beeping. Because your game might be a little different. Like, it might be the same and different. There's two parts. Will you stand Fall. by? Come in, spy fox. What is it, monkey penny? Agent Pins has been dispatched to the desert. She has intercepted a useful gadget from Poodle's cosmetic factory for you. I can't quite make her out. Right, she's in disguise. So now, I'm not gonna speed it up actually guys. So now we're gonna go, oh, right, she was looking like, she was like right over here. And, you might have beat Spy Fox okay, 1, and, you might have beat Spy Fox 1 and 2, and well, I did some of Spy Fox 1, but it, it was kind of boring. So yeah. Such landscapes have been spot. I'm just gonna skip that part now. You see that you're gonna walk you're to him. Sharp pins. <laughs> sharp pins. <laughs> it must be 120 degrees. Out here. Out. Looks like he's from South Carolina. He cool talks pins. like that. What hot tip North Carolina, do you have for South Carolina? Spycor intercepted this gadget from one of Poodle Salor's good spot box and saw this gadget. It's a digital makeup compact. We think I'm just gonna skip that. Get it, and then let, let let's just explore over here first. Doop. The music's kind of sad. Wow, this is quite a bee farm. It's called an apiary, honey. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Have we met before? I think I met you at the World's Fair. Yeah, the World's Fair was um Spy Fox too. My name's B. B Bear. Is there anything I can get you, honey? Say, for instance, honey, just let me know. Thanks, B. I will. So we've met her on the first Spy Fox and the second Spy Fox. So, but let's just borrow this beekeeper hat. Can I borrow your beekeeper hat? Why do you want to borrow my beekeeper hat? You never know when a beekeeper disguise might come in handy. Well, I don't know. I don't want to be a party to any malicious mischief. Not to worry. I'm a certified good guy spy, and will use it only in the process of saving the world. Okay, if it'll help save the world. Here you go. And now, be. this is, I actually like Spy Fox 3 the best, because like, it's like pretty fun. Now we're gonna click, let's see. Do you like being a beekeeper bee? I prefer the term. No, not this one. It's honey. It says honey. Uh, now what are we gonna- What made you start up an apiary? Yeah, let's just go. Now let's go back in that car. Right there, guys. The music's like kind of catchy now. So now we're gonna go back to this Wait, are we? Wait, let me think. I have to think. We are going to... Sorry, guys. I just need to take a thinking moment. Now we are going to go... Yeah. So now let's... Wait. Wait, we need a tree. Oh, yeah. We need, to go... we need to go back here now. There's going to be a bungle in, in the jungle. It's going to be a bungle in the jungle. So now let's go back right here. 
actually let's I'm gonna end the video and I'm gonna make a part three guys so thank you for watching please like and subscribe and remember to check out my part three and if you like this video please comment in the comment sections below like the video so and even if you like it like this video <laughs> so bye guys <laughs>